One of the frequent comments I've seen over the years is I'd love to buy XYZ curriculum, but it's just too expensive. So I have some ideas for you today of some curriculums that are cheap or free and they're still fun. Hello and welcome to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. If you're new here, welcome. Here we talk all things neurodivergent family life in a home educating family of five. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. It means the world to me. So today we are going to talk about curriculum that is cheap or free and still really, really fun. And an added bonus for me is if they can do some of the work independently. So the first curriculum I wanted to talk to you about is Easy Peasy All-in-One Homeschool. It's an American family who started home educating their own children and have put what they used for their children onto a website and it's all absolutely free. There is an option for you to donate with PayPal to like essentially the whole like buy me a coffee um, thing for them that you can do if you would like to contribute towards it because it does support their family. However, um, you don't have to. They even have a platform where you can set your child work, your child can log in and access everything and it's all completely autonomous. They can, um, sorry, independent, it's all completely independent. So they can access their work and you can see the whole, um, like all of their work planned out for them. Uh, they also have some placement tests for English and maths and I think that's really, really helpful. So they also have a program that is really, really good for teaching children to read. And when I've talked about using the McGuffey primers, all in one, e easy peasy, all in one homeschool is where I got the idea from. It was a website that I found. And um, this is how they taught their children to read with the McGuffey primers with sight words. And for us, it's been an absolute game changer. It's taught uh, numbers two and three to read when phonics just still isn't clicking for them, even though they've both been reading um, a while now. Bessie's been reading two, three years and Albert's been reading over a year and phonics is still something that escapes them. But once you tell them a word, they just get it. And that's just really sight words. So uh, the, they introduced me to the McGuffey primer and it's something that has been so beneficial for our family. They also have a preschool curriculum. They have high school, they have everything. So it's, it's very, very um, comprehensive. Uh, they are a Christian family. So they do have elements on there such as like Bible, study and things like that in uh, as separate subjects obviously you don't have to use these uh, if you're like me i have just ignored the christian bits and moved forward because it's such a great resource i can definitely ignore the bits um that are religious uh, because it's free and uh home educating is expensive sometimes it can be made expensive um and when I say that, I don't mean the curriculum or the classes. I mean that if you have had to leave work to home educate your child, that can be really, really hard work for you. And um, that can be the bit that's expensive. It's the lack of income that causes the expense rather than what it actually um, what it actually takes to home educate, if that makes sense. So if we can keep costs down for all of us, um, then that's great. And that's why I started using it. You can also buy printed books um, for their curriculums on Amazon. And actually that's been a lifesaver for me because I've actually got one of the books here to show you. Um, I bought this from Amazon. It's, as you can see, all in one homeschool, easy peasy, all in one homeschool. And this is their learn to read book. So this has the um, McGuffey primer in. So just give you an example. Here's part of the McGuffey primer and it's in larger font and then you've got all of the flashcard words that you would learn that lesson in it as well in really big font and we found that really helpful because the children could trace over the words um, to help learn to write them in copy work but they could also um, they also felt more like flashcards and they were kind of easier easier to cover than the words in the McGuffey primer because they're very small. So we actually really like that book. I can't remember how much it cost me. I feel like it was maybe 12 or 13 pounds. It wasn't, it did not break the bank. Um, as you can see ours is well, well loved with dates and things in the corner and ticks and so on and so forth. Um, this has got through all of both, uh, both Bessie and Albert now, and I'm gonna pass it on to uh, one of my home educating friends who is teaching one of her children to read now. So I'm gonna pass it on to her now we're done with it. Um, but that's, it's great. It has science, it has geography, history, art, um, art history, 
what else has it got it's got languages it's just it's literally got everything you if you wanted to you could only home educate with that and it would be a perfectly well-rounded uh robust education and it would be fine so the next curriculum I wanted to talk to you about, it is essentially the national curriculum, but that's Twinkle. So I have sung the praises of Twinkle ever since I started home educating eight years ago now, when my son turned four and we said, right, that's it. Okay, we're doing this. He's not going to school. This in, he's not going to school in September. Like this is it. And um, we've had a Twinkle membership on and off since then. Some years we didn't. And then as when they were very young and then we were like, no, no, we really, really need this. And Twinkle offer this great thing that if you know someone who has a membership, like me, uh, they can, and you have never used Twinkle before, they can give you a month free. Now, if you're savvy with this month, you can spend a week getting to know the website. Then you can spend, and, and getting to know the website, you can spend a week planning what you're gonna need for the year. And then you can spend the next two weeks downloading everything you're going to need. Um, it will give you, you can at least maybe, I think they do have some download limits in the sense that like if you're downloading a lot, then they're gonna kind of go, hang on a second. But um, you can definitely download a decent amount of what you need for that year. You can also um, only sign up for a month at a time. So if you download three months worth of stuff when you have that free month, then in three months time, you can just sign up for one month, do another three months, sign up for one month, do another three months and so on and so forth. It's a way to make it a lot cheaper. It's not an expensive subscription at all. It's maybe 10, 11 pounds a month. I can't remember the exact amount. I will add that in the description. Um, just sorry, Taylor's making, you know when toddlers go quiet and they're up to no good? Puppies do exactly the same thing. She looks bored. I have to give her something just while I film. Um, but yes, a Twinkle subscription is amazing. They have all sorts of things on there. And they also have the live lessons, which are really, really good. And you can, you don't have to have a whole year subscription. You don't even have to pay for it every single month. You can just, you know, you can just use it as you need it. Um, an HP Inc. subscription or something similar um, is probably a good idea as well because you're going to be printing a lot. And some basic stationery from Poundland, like uh, ring binders, uh, plastic wallets, uh, or just a stapler anything like that, just to keep it all together. Um, sticky labels to kind of label when you're doing what, if you wanna plan that far ahead. Um, equally, because it's not super expensive, it's just about, it's just, you know, it's just around 10 pound a month. You could just get the subscription if it was something that's in your budget, and then you could just do it, you know, as and when. And if you're not a big planner, I am a planner, I like to plan things. Um, I tend to plan things per season. Um, just because of paganism um, and that's just how my brain is wired at the moment and um, I will also often do sabbat to sabbat so like um, sabbat means festival so I'll go from Samhain to Yule, Yule to Imbolg and so on and like that's that's how I plan things. Um, at the moment we're doing some diagnostics on IXL and things like that so we haven't got huge things planned out but this leads me on to my next point. And finally, that brings me along very nicely to my own curriculum. This is one that I've made myself for my children and I share it incredibly cheaply on my pay hip shop in case anyone else wants the stress taken off of them as well. Um, I spent several weeks making this for my children based on topics that they asked for. Um, I also added ones in that I wanted to learn more about because I had never learned about them or because I really enjoyed them and I wanted to pass it on to my own children. So there are 52 weeks <clears throat> of curriculum with six activities a week. You can do it, um, you know, a couple over a couple of days or you can do one a day and have a day off. Um, really, it, it doesn't really matter. However you do it is fine. Um, it will also be really good for home ed co-ops. So you could do like, a, for example, the first week is volcanoes and tectonic plates. You could have a volcano and tectonic plate week and, you know, six parents or five parents because the sixth activity is always a YouTube video. So you could start off by watching the YouTube video and then five parents set up five activities and the children can move around them and you can do the activities. It's so versatile and it's 10.99 and it's a whole year. It covers science, history, geography, art and cooking and language arts. So that is a creative writing piece every week. Um, and something that I feel really strongly about is um, The Brave Writer. If anyone knows about The Brave about Brave Writer, it talks about distinct um, forms of development when it comes to writing. 
the first one is they call it she calls it jot it down where you do the writing for the child the next one is um partnership writing where you write it together and then you know emerging writers where they start to write it themselves and so on um this is especially important i found for neurodivergent learners who a lot of them struggle with writing all three of my children struggle with writing they struggle with the creativity side of it they struggle with the fine motor skill side of it they struggle with just enjoying it um and i know a lot of um and not of neurodivergent children in, in my local community really struggle with writing. It's not something they enjoy or find easy. Uh, so there's a thing with every part of the language arts, if you have a reluctant writer, it's about getting their stories that they may have in their mind, because all children are so creative, um, that onto paper, whether they write it or you write it. And um, different ways I did it with my children. So with my son, he ended up writing a four page story in his exercise book um, and in his notebook. And um, I wrote the first three pages, but he dictated them to me. And then he wrote the last page. He he finished the story off with my daughter. She has used voice to text um, and has um, and, used, and done it that way. And then with my youngest, who's seven, I dictated he dictated all of it to me and it was a lot shorter. Um, so there's there's different ways of doing it but what's important is that they feel like they're a writer they don't actually have to actively write to be a writer how would someone who is say blind um be able to write a book in that way they wouldn't be able to they would have to have an adaptation adaptations made for them to be able to do that you think about there was a gentleman i don't know if he's still alive he was living in america in an iron lung he wrote he wrote several books um, he completed a law degree. He used like a pencil with a little hammer. I think it had like an eraser on the end, but it was fashioned like a hammer, it looked like Thor's hammer. And he just tapped um, the keys and then had other people help him with it when he was too tired and he couldn't continue. So look, these people all have issues that prevent them from writing in the conventional way. Neurodivergent learners also have issues that may prevent them from writing in the conventional way. So we need to make it accessible for them. And I feel really, really strongly about this. Writing is something that I've always really enjoyed and I love. However, my husband, on the flip side, also neurodivergent, absolutely hates it and said a little while ago when one of our children said, um, I don't want to write anymore. I don't want to write. I hate writing. He was like, me too. And actually, I've probably on my day, on my, on my, you know, in a whole year when it comes to my work and the things I do in my daily life, 75% of that is typing and the rest of it is, and 25% is writing. So he's, and we've all agreed that they need to learn to write well enough so they can write anything they want or anything they need to. And, but they also need to type proficiently and that needs to be, it needs to, and we, we've, we settled on 2575 because they are going to, you know, technology is only getting more and more advanced and they're going to be typing more than they are writing in their lives, but they still need to be able to write anything they like. Because if there's a power cut and your laptop runs out and you still have stuff to do, then you still need to be able to use a pen and paper. So um, that's something actually that we're going forward with now. We've actually found a free typing program for Charles to learn to type better. And I'm going to encourage the others to as well. And uh, hopefully they can or you know, Charles can, Charles will zoom through it, I'm sure. And the other two will slowly go through it. But um, I'll link the free typing thing below. I'll link um, Easy Peasy and Ones All in One Homeschool below. I'll link Twinkle below and I'll link my curriculum below. There's loads of other things on there and I am working behind the scenes furiously to get things out. And I'm actually about to put, excuse me, um, as of this week, so today, this is coming out on Friday. On Monday, a home ed bundle is about to go out with brand new products. Um, they will all be available separately in the shop. Uh, but if you want to buy the brand, the whole bundle of home educator, um, Home Educator Supplies, that includes um, the curriculum, it includes a ebook, it includes um, pre-filled meal plans um, that, are, that is going to be seasonal. So this um, this one will have the um, will have the the winter one, and um, as it's um, it'll also when the other ones come when the other ones come through, that will be um, an automatic freebie like. So anyone who buys the bundle um, for as the other months, so spring, summer and autumn meal plans come out, you'll just get sent a code to get those for free if you want them. Um, 
if you buy the winter one separately you will have to buy the other separately as well so like it works out as a no-brainer really um but there's loads of free products on there they will all come included as well so you just download it all in one go but the free products give you an idea of what kind of um things that are in the bundle and you'll see pictures of them all as well so um i hope that, that is something that people are up for i know something that i would have done i love a good bundle that feels like it's an absolute bargain and this is because you'll see all of the other all the products will be in the shop so you'll see how much they are um instead of buying them separately um so yeah hopefully it's useful i'm just i make things that i think would be useful like if i saw them in someone else's shop and then hopefully they are to you too um so yeah uh thank you so much for watching thank you for joining me on this process as always and i love sharing my journey with you and i love it when you share your journey with me so keep making keep leaving comments when you share with me about what you're doing with your children it really makes my day and it makes me really excited and sometimes it's given me ideas of what i want to do with mine so keep sharing um i am i am on tiktok but i've taken a little bit of a break from that i kind of put a bit of a controversial post um up and um like it it I got like 6,000 views, I think almost, and it kind of freaked me out a little bit. Um, especially some of the comments I was getting that were anti home ed. I was like, this hasn't landed with the white people. So I'm on Instagram for a little bit. Um, a lot of the reels I'm putting up there, you, if you follow this channel and you've seen my shorts, you would have already seen them. Um, but all the posts are new, and I'm trying to get ahead of myself with things like stories and stuff like that. I'm trying to get my head around Instagram a bit more. Um, I know a lot of you have said that you're not on TikTok, but you are on Instagram. So I'm heading over there a little bit more, getting, I'm have paddling in and see how I feel about it. But I'm not going anywhere on YouTube. Um, I set myself a goal of where I wanted to be by the new year, by the beginning of January. And I've actually already hit that goal. So, um, and that was kind of my, um, I mentioned it a few videos ago that if I didn't reach where I wanted to reach, then I wouldn't continue the channel, but I've already reached it and it's already the end of, no and it's only the end of November, so a month early. So I will be continuing the channel. I'm not going anywhere. Um, I will put a video out nearer the time and like kind of officially tell everybody, but this is only for people who stayed to watch till the end. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram and TikTok too. Uh, I'm also on Facebook. Have you checked me out on Facebook? <laughs> Take care and I will see you very soon. Bye.